ready. Three hundo? Three hundo ten? Celsius. Three hundred and ten. Three hundred and ten. I think I'd be like 527 degrees Celsius. Or right. Fahrenheit, I mean. If it was or, 310. Or. It's hot. That does sound pretty hot. A wee bit. Liquid candy. That's what liquid it looks like. Gold. If, <laughs> if you ever wondered what liquid candy looked like. Now's your chance. That's it. I feel like it wouldn't be that tasty right now. It probably would taste okay, but I don't know if you'd be able to taste it because it would probably burn your taste buds so much. Yeah. You can't take it to the hospital until we're done, so. <laughs> so we ask you to refrain yeah, from so finding don't. out. <laughs> you don't want to rush anything either. How old is that copper kettle? Older than you. Uh, yeah. I think everything down here is. I know. I, I definitely Over a hundred. Give me Steve Spearmint. How much did you write down? How much? Are these are secret recipes files. Yep. Let me get these out of here. Let's see. Well, I didn't write it down. No, you've been doing the writing. Spearmint. 18 pound batch. It's like top secret information I'm showing everybody. Yeah. I named the last video uh, recipe because I, I know that nobody's going to take the recipe and actually try it unless they're crazy enough to try it. But hey, we give them the recipe yeah, if they want to do it. Try it at home. And you know, just Let's make a video 12, and show us. Uh, 12 pounds is three quarters, so. Okay, so then this is going to be. This is going to be one, one full shot. One shot. One shot. Okay. We do shots down here. Yeah. As the vapors are rising up. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah, this is not quite as rough as a peppermint. What is it again? Pyramid. Pyramid? It's a kinder friendlier. Still smells really good though. It's a kinder friendlier mint. Hmm. I think I actually may like it more than I like peppermint. Wow. I mean, I kind of have to play huh? favorites, but. Are those dough cutters new or are they just extra shiny? Uh, extra shiny. They're definitely not new. Hmm. They must have polished them. I haven't them. bought a new dough cutter in quite some time. Wow. I don't know if I'm worth it. I want new butter knives. It's just a whole, it's a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, a mushroom. I could have got that for you. So in the last video we made, uh, a lot of people had questions about uh, why marble table, and, this, and then we have a metal table over here. So what's the reason for both of those things? This is used for candy making, so it conducts the heat better and um, fewer hot spots. So, so more evenly spread heat? Yeah. Each batch you do, you can slow it down a little bit. Yeah. So like it'll cool it down, but not too fast. Like cool it down at a slow enough rate. Basically, right? That sounds good. But if you did on the metal, it'd probably slow down really fast, right? Um, the the metal really is just a counter. Yeah. So you wouldn't. I mean, like if you had like a metal table, unless it was like one of those steel Ste jacketed, steam jacketed, yeah. steam jacketed, whatever. Yeah, it'd probably cool down too fast. Yeah. But people don't have marble counters because that's not really that's not really a candy making counter. Yeah. That's just a counter. Just a counter. How much would like a huge slab of marble like this go for today? Not like back in the fifties when it was taken down. I don't know. Here. A couple thousand? <laughs> Somebody actually just gave us a slab of marble, um Oh no, we gave her some candy. But she had this slab of marble. It was about half the size of this, Steve. Would you say? A third, basically. Okay. It's a slab of marble. She was getting rid of it. It was an, on top of like a buffet table type of thing, and she, she she put on Craigslist for free, and nobody took it, so she 
thought, hey, I'll call some candy makers. So your dad and Brad, they went over dad and believed her of her. What are you guys going to use it for? Not sure, but he didn't want to say no, and then later on, wish he had said yes. Yeah. But I have it not needed, then needed not have it. Right, because I feel like we could get rid of it if we wanted to. Then you just feel dumb. Exactly, and I'm nice tired of feeling dumb. Nice marble top, so I'll figure something out. Maybe we could just make like a tiny island in the kitchen. You know? It's good for rolling out pie crusts and kneading bread dough and whatnot. Or, you know, stubbing your toe in the middle of the night on the way to the bathroom. You'd have to lift your leg up to do that, Craig. That's going to be very inconvenient. Yeah, but there's got to be legs. This can't be like a floating marble table. Hmm, you're right. I mean, I don't know why she'd be giving that away for free. I'd be patenting that. That'd be something out of Harry Potter. <laughs> I, was, I was watching It's Always Sunny before I came down, and Charlie just, he found, uh, he found something that he thought was cool that somebody already made. And he's like, oh my god, we gotta patent this. I don't know if you know how patents work. He clearly did Because you can't do that. <laughs> you can't patent something that's already been patented. <laughs> I bought this. I'm gonna patent it. Sounds like he needs to get himself a 3D printer. Yeah. Then he can start patenting things like 3D printers. Mm-hmm. Once you buy it, patent it. I'll never see it coming. That's how you get them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you beating it like that? I'm doing my best to keep the color inside. It's not going to work, I guarantee uh, it. I will make a mess. But I'm trying to not to. Trying to not to? I'm trying to not to make a mess. I'm trying to not to make a mess. It won't work, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Dad's doing a pretty good job over here, huh? Yeah, because the clear stuff doesn't leak out. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All over the marble countertop, Mom. Yep. Come on. Don't worry. I oh, don't worry. We got a backup. I have a special solution I use to <laughs> remove the color from here. It's called H2O. Yeah. Yeah. Works like a charm. Maybe you should patent it. That's a good idea. Get the hydrogen to oxygen ratio just right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dive in. Are you doing it kind of quickly because it's hot? Nope. Oh. I just like to do things kind of quickly. Just this quick. Because then we'll be done quicker. We'll be done more quickly or... More quickly or even? Even. Dad, what's your technique right now? Waiting. He's excellent at that. Yeah. <laughs> he excels. So what are you looking for for the droop test, Dad? It doesn't go too fast. It's gotta go slower. And what if it starts going too slow? Then what happens? Then it's too cold. You gotta start over. <laughs> <laughs> then you're in trouble. <laughs> Mom, your guns are really popping in this shot. Oh, I should have worn a tank top. Sun's out, guns out. Sun's away, guns out. That's how it goes, right? Sun's out, guns out. Sun's setting. No guns out. Nope. Gun show's over, folks. There's nothing to see here. We'll have to have you flexed by the by the end of this video. Okay, if you insist. Candy maker guns. Should have worn a tank top. Yeah. Biggest regret of your I life. I know. Your wife? Yeah. Biggest regret of your wife. <laughs> I'm gonna go in front of the heater if nobody objects. Alright. Okay, see ya. The candy heater. Your mom's a rebel. Yeah, confectionery rebel. <laughs> Look at that. Up close and personal. Lots of bubbles. The blob. It's still hot, it'll burn you. Know, you know the yeah. Probably would. I but I can't it. touch it. Because, no, you know. Not a good idea. Also, you know, health code violations and whatnot. 
that kind of thing. Then you'll have to go to the hospital. And you don't have time for that. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't got time for that. Not about that life. You are pretty hip, Mom, aren't you? Oh, I am. Mom, you did this last time. You better come up with new, new shapes. It's a double candy cane? It's a heart, silly. <laughs> double candy cane. <laughs> That's yeah. where it's both. It's like those optical illusions where you can see wherever you was that like a butterfly? Clover. <laughs> I can't get any of these. <laughs> shamrock. It's like a new charades. It's a shamrock. Candy charades. Yep. Uh candy blob. It's a stick. Oh. I'm gonna go. Oh, over. this is the interesting part. Over here now. The Candy hammer. Look at that. Candy making only. But wait, there's more. Candy only. For candy only. Uh, only I don't only. want somebody using it for something else. <sighs> you didn't want anything on the handle. Hands off. Hmm. Stand on the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna tend my stripe anyway. Okay. I got both you guys in the shot. Hashtag artsy. Mom, what are you looking at so inquisitively? The camera, just to make sure the numbers are still moving. The, oh, the security cameras? Yep. They crash a lot. Really? Well, the cameras don't crash. The software on the tablet crashes. <laughs> Let's look to see if the numbers are still moving. So you change your technique like part way through, just when it gets more droopy. When it gets lost. Is it hard to talk while you do that? <laughs> Sometimes. Do you need a wax? <laughs> yeah. Dad needs to get whacked. He's been talking too much. It's stuck. Yeah. Is this your idea of fun? Yep. This is fun. <laughs> fun as it gets. It's not so convincing. I look like you're having fun too. Yeah, this takes a lot of concentration. It's kind of hot over here. Can you tap it again, please? It's a nice good. set new white you got going there. Yeah. The same color as his hair. Yeah. Almost. It's even more satiny though. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about his hair or the candy? The candy. <laughs> Don't make me laugh too much, I'll drop it. Yeah, you won't. You need a whack? Can you catch it? You need a whack? Yeah, it's ready to come off. Okay. It's a big old pile of candy. Do you have a method to your madness, Dad? <laughs> Punch it and roll it. Punch it, roll it, rotate it. Punch it. Roll it. Rotate it. Punch it. Roll it. Rotate it. That's too much thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> What's that now, Mom? A stripe. Ah. Soon to be two. Where do you get scissors like that? Like if that if those broke, where would you get another pair? Scissor store, Craig. Scissor store. <laughs> Duh. Is it next to the toilet store? 
Actually, I don't know where I, I don't know where we'd go, Steve. I don't know. There's not even a name never, on here. I never looked for them, so I don't they didn't know. used to print names on stuff way back when. Apparently not. Probably. They used to cut like a giant hair. Yeah, these used to be hair cutting scissors. Yeah. Yeah. But don't worry, we back washed them. Back in the them. day. Oh, uh, I didn't wash. Them. No, I think I washed them. Whose hair did you cut? Giants. Hagrid? Yes, it was Hagrid. He's only a half giant. Gotta start somewhere. Yeah. I guess you'd probably need even bigger scissors if it was a real giant. Yeah. Got me thinking about where we get scissors if we needed them. Yeah. I guess I would try Amazon first. Yeah. Giant scissors. <laughs> I would then I might try um, like a restaurant supply. Yeah. Or I could Google candy making scissors. Or I could call another candy maker. Mm-hmm. And ask them. You know, I YouTube like other uh, ribbon candy videos and like candy cane videos, and they pretty much just like they do every most of everything just the same up until this point, and then they just once they pull that out, they just feed it into like a machine. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They don't have another person hooking it manually. Nope. You know? Nope, it's not done like that anymore. Oh, the same you? thing with ribbon candy. They have a Yeah, cracker. oh yeah. Yeah, they totally just put it through a machine. Um, so, can you uh, tell all the folks at home exactly what you're doing when you're, when you're Well, hooking? the first thing I'm doing here is I'm trying to make them, the first couple <coughs> ones are kind of ugly. Yep. But this point has to be, this point pointing in, and then we might give it another little twist to add to the barbershop pole thing we got going there, and then straighten it out. Oh. Oh. oh golly. And then uh, I'll usually his put apron my came untied. Perfect I try to keep a perfect cane here so that I can kinda gauge if his are getting too big or too little. Mm -hmm. Then let them know. So that's my perfect cane. So that side in, that side so both both corners in basically. Yep, pointing in. And that's just so it doesn't rip through the packaging? Yeah. Any other reasons? No. Other than you want to make them look uniformish. Yeah, I just try to do things the same way every time, and then maybe they'll look the same if I'm super lucky. If you're super lucky. Yeah, so this is a little bit more forgiving than uh, ribbon candy. Yeah, by a little you mean a lot, right? Yeah, I do. There is no wiggle room with the ribbon candy. Unless you have a machine. Which we don't. Huh. Yeah, we do. You. What's her name? Terry. Or some people call her. Terry the Machine Andrew Rianos. Oh, I was going to say mom, but whatever. Oh, yeah. I call you Terry the Machine Andrianos. Right, all, all the, time. the time. Hey, Terry the Machine Andrianos, how'd it go to us? How was work today? TMA. That's her initials. Basically, my thumbs are the mold. Mm. Is there anything else you guys want people to know about candy canes? I wish and I'd made my stripes a little bit smaller. I think that when we get towards the end of the batch, we're going to get some blending. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit sad about that. Yeah. What's your favorite candy to make? Uh, I don't really have one. What a great answer. Dad doesn't have a favorite anything. I said, do you like the NFL or uh, college football better? And he said he can't pick. And I said, what's your favorite NFL team? And he said, well, I like a lot of them. He likes the Giants, the Patriots, and the Bills. And I said, which one's your favorite? And he said, well, I don't know. They're all good. And most of the time, when they're, whenever, even like in the Super Bowl, I'll ask him, well, which team do you want to win? He says, well, I don't know. I just want to see a good game. <laughs> Dad's dad. Yeah, I just want to see a good game. <laughs> that last one's a little long, so, you know, try not to do that.
Did you want to tell people what you're doing exactly over here, Dad? Well, I'm keeping the keeping it nice and warm in front of the heater, and then I'm shining up with my gloves. The cotton gloves shine the heat. You got to keep it in a nice triangle shape, Make so so they will stay a good soft temperature. It's like over here, it's not very shiny, and then as it goes down, yeah. as you uh, rub your gloves along it, it definitely gets a lot shinier. Yep. He's a glove rubber. Mm hmm. Nothing but a glove rubber. So just rotating it and rubbing it? Yep. <laughs> That's the life. That's the life of a candy maker. Real uh, long, Steve. You just gotta keep adjusting it. It gets shorter, or longer, or thicker, yeah, right. thinner. Your mom tells me if I make them a little too long or too short. Whatever mom says goes. Mom says. <laughs>